All right, man. I'm going to get that off. But, uh, Lions, Pistons lost to the Houston Rockets. I was at that game. Um, I was right there under the basket damn near when Jalen Jalen Green almost sent K Cunningham to the upper room. You know, K kind of, like, quit after that. Like, he didn't want to play no more after he got banged on. Shook his hand, like, good dunk and all that. That motherfucker, he banged on K. That was wild. But, you know, nonetheless, this game was just, like, how they lost this game, you know, they lost this game because Ivy, Ivy, Ivy just started just doing, just started turning the ball over, playing reckless. Tobias Harris couldn't hit his free throws at the end of the game. And in the third quarter, there was a five-minute stretch where they lost that game at. There was a five-minute stretch where, where, he, where they lost that game at. There was a five minute stretch where they lost that game at. It was close back and forth. They take the lead. We take the lead. And then the Lions start turning the ball over. You know what I'm saying? And Houston got up by 10. Then in the fourth quarter, the, the Pistons, you know, they they they, you know, they came all the way back. They came all the way back. I believe they might even took the lead. You know, you know, and they both was missing a bunch of free throws. Let's say that they both was missing a bunch of free throws. And for the most part, down the stretch, you know, Piston, you know, there's there's some so Sagoon dude. He had a bunch of Turkish people there for him. It was a nice little crowd. He was really beat them. He who really beat the Pistons today. I mean, yeah, you know, Isaiah Stewart is just I mean, he played with a lot of heart. Isaiah's playing very, very well. But this dude was just too tall. They out rebound. They out rebounded us. Fifty three rebounds to forty six. So that's not a huge margin. But um, you know, that's not a huge margin. But this dude was a problem. This is goon dude, Alex Sapir or whatever. He was the reason we got our ass whooped for real. Like he was persistent. He was rebounding. Him and that ugly ass one hand jump shot. You know what I'm saying? He was he was the reason that, for the most part, the Pistons lost. I mean, you look at the rest of their box score. I don't think it's too many more impressive. Uh, you know, impressive things there. So, yeah, you look at this box score. Hold on, my bad. I don't know if they're tripping. You know, Jabari didn't do shit. Brooks had 14. You know, Seagal had 27. That's one. And Fred Van Fleet didn't score into the second half. He had seven. You know, uh, Jalen Green had 15. Tari Easton had some. He really nutted up in the third quarter. He was the one that really put him put the third quarter out of reach. Uh, and that was pretty much it. That was pretty much it. Tari, Tari Eason in the third quarter, he really was was the difference. Yeah, Tari Eason in the third quarter, he 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 was the difference. He was the difference. He was the difference. So that was a huge, huge difference. He was he was a problem. He just started going haywire. For real, he started going haywire, but then all that shit stopped in the third, you know. So, um, but for us, you know, uh, Caden and uh, Ivy had 10 turnovers, and it was crucial, you know. Cade had four, Ivy had six atrocious turnovers, you know. Cade was hot in the beginning, and then kind of after he got dunked on, he couldn't get his mojo back. They pulled him out the game. That's when they made a comeback with Ivy and, and them, and then they put him back in the game, and then they, you know, had an opportunity to, you know, tie it up. Tobias Harris missed free throws. Stewart had a solid game, 16 points, eight rebounds. Uh, Tim Hardaway made some big shots down, down the stretch, but, you know, Beasley made some shots in that first half. But, you know, going to that second half, 
going into that, that, that second half, they started to fade a little bit. They started to fade a little bit in that second half. So um, they started to fade, but for the most part, uh, but for the most part, man, it was, I mean, down the stretch, they had some atrocious turnovers. You know, they struggling to get shots in the cr- in crunch time. Um, you know, and it was the referees on some bull job. Yeah, they was. Referee number 70 yesterday, dude, was uh, dude was calling some bad calls. But they still had an opportunity. They still had an opportunity to win that game. They still had an opportunity to win that game. And Tobias Harris went to the free throw line and missed the free throw. He made both of them. You know, he made both of them. They would have won. I mean, they would have tied into the overtime. But they 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 lost that game in the third quarter. They literally lost that game in the third quarter yesterday. That's where that game was lost in the third quarter. You know, Tari Eason, you know, was nothing up. Sagoon, whatever his name is, he was going crazy the whole game. But they turnovers, they 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 careless with the with the basketball. That's what lost them that game. And then you know they struggle to get shots sometimes, even within the offense and running plays. They got to figure out how to get how to get shots, how to get easier shots. You know, Ivy going to the rim and. Being indecisive whether to finish at the rim or shoot it or pass it, that got to stop. He got to make a move, commit to it, and, and you know what I'm saying? He got to commit to it. He got to commit to it. So when he stopped with all the indecisive shit, they'll be all right. And they figure out uh, what's they what's they what, what's going to be their rhythm or what's going to be their bread and butter when it comes to um, in the crunch time or when they need a, a, a bucket, who going to get them that bucket? Who going to be player A, going to be player B, who going to be player C to get them that bucket? So that's going to be interesting when they, they can figure that out. But, you know, let me know what you girls and guys think. You got Detroit Pistons Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live and drop video. Uh, financially, you want to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link in description. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Appreciate y'all. Shout out to Detroit Piston, uh, Piston Post Game Reaction Playlist, Detroit Piston Talk Playlist. Peace.